Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Um, we're going to be talking about name known configuration for our Hadoop cluster. And um, uh, the first things that we have to do, we have uh, we're, a lot of what goes on in a name node is that it is directing um, towards other devices, essentially. It basically controls the whole cluster configuration and then understands the full architecture of the system. So what we're, um, what we're first of all going to be editing is a file called hosts, and that is in the etc directory, okay? This file is currently owned by the root, so if we try to make changes to it, for example, let's just, uh, let's do this here, we'll do this, and save the change, it'll tell us permission des denied, okay? So what we first have to do is we have to set some, uh, some permissions here, and we're gonna change the ownership temporarily to us, uh, Ubuntu, okay? We're gonna hit enter, and then what you're gonna see is it changes the ownership right here, okay? Now you can do it other ways. You can change the file permissions to 777. That just opens it up for everybody and it'll be okay, but you'd have to return the, the, sa the, the same file permissions as it had before. So it's easier to just go back and forth between changing the, uh, the um, user, the owner of the file, all right? Now, what you'll see in uh, the host file um, this this host file, if you're using Windows, for example, there is a host file and it's the same format wherever you go. It's a standard type of file. Now, what you're looking at here is we have an IP address and then a host name, okay? So for us, what we have on our files, our, our, our nodes or instances here, we have um, an IP address and we have our DNS. Okay, now you could also use the private DNS, that'll work just the same. Essentially, it's just an internal address that it's pointing to. Okay, this is a private IP, it's not a public IP, so you can you're, you're basically pointing it to the same thing. Okay, so in here, um, and, it, and remember, it, this is within the system, so you're not going outside of the system to get to it. Um, you're staying within within the uh, the uh, network that it's available to. All right. So if we got uh, get started with this, I'm gonna. I've already done a little bit of legwork here just to help us along, make us go a little quicker. Um, you don't necessarily need this uh, address here right now because uh, if it's pointing to any of these um, aliases, it's gonna it's gonna catch those before it catches this one but I'll, I'll keep it in there anyway all right we'll save that remember we'd have no permission problems here now what we have to do is switch our permissions back okay so I have a couple of commands that were saved from before I'm gonna click uh, I'm gonna run that one we'll just do confirm that it's it's changed back to root all right okay so I'm gonna save this get out of there and let's get into our uh, instructions here. So we've gone through all of this. We've taken care of our host file. We've returned our ownership back. And now we're going to modify the HDFS site XML file. All right. So here I'm going to use my shortcut. And I'm going to go right into here and change that node right there. All right. Now, all I have to do is copy everything between the configuration. You could take all of the configuration as well, if you like, it doesn't matter. Uh, there's nothing to change in this right now. This is, uh, this is the only thing that is unique here is that it's pointing to the name node. Uh, you'll notice as we get into data node configuration, that it'll say data node. All right, I'm gonna save this, close out of that. Now, we have to create uh, a data folder for our HDFS. Which, what our HDFS is going to be done, it's basically just, all it is is just a file system within a file system. So you could kind of imagine like a zip, a really large zip file, if you will. Um, and uh, it is managed by, uh, by Hadoop itself. So right now we're going to create a, um, a name node 
HDFS folder. Okay. So if I go over here, you'll see that there's no folders. If I refresh, there's no folders there. All right. I'm going to create that folder system. Okay. It is now there. If I go in here. Okay. Now we don't have anything in there yet, of course. It's just just straight up a folder. There's nothing unique about it. Okay. The next thing we're, that we're going to do is modify a file called masters. Okay. Now, masters is our name node, okay? It, it basically just holds the information about our name node, okay? And uh, very simply, all you actually have to do is, uh, is just, you're gonna put in um, a name node at the top of the file, and that's really the only, all that's gonna be in there. If I push enter on this, and we go into the configuration directory again, <coughs> Okay, I refresh. We looked at masters. And what we should see is name node at the top right here. Okay. Next thing we have to do is we have to modify a file called uh, slaves. Okay. And for slaves, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the file altogether. Just delete it. You can, you can modify it. You don't have to delete it, but I'm going to just delete it. And I'm going to add in these commands. Okay. And there again, all I have to do is because I've got this data node one alias already set up. All right. I can just run that and I can do uh, data node two. Okay. And what this is doing is it's just concatenating. It's adding to um, the slaves file. And you'll see once we're done here what uh, what we come up with. All right. In this slaves file, this one is right here. So first we removed it and we we uh, we deleted what was there before. It was just saying localhost before, and now it says data node one, two, and three. All right. Super. Okay. And one more little bit of housekeeping. We'll just do this one more time. Make sure that all of the ownership is applied to our Hadoop home. And there we have it. Okay, guys, that's, uh, that's it for name node configurations. Uh, remember to like and share, and please do subscribe. Um, I'm excited to get into the final stages of our Hadoop cluster installation. Thanks a lot.